There are a couple of different methods for expanding multiple brackets, but we're going to look here at my favorite, the box method. So we're going to be doing expanding multiple brackets. What are we talking about here? If we had an expression like x plus 3 times by x minus 4. So let's space that out and we're multiplying those two brackets. How would we do that? As I say, there are several different methods involving uh, first, inside, outside, and happy face, sad face, and all of that. My favorite, though, is the box method. What is that method? You draw the first expression, like so, spaced out, and the second expression going down vertically just to the left of the first expression, like so. And you create a nice little box. So there we go. And across. Doesn't have to be that neat. Just so you get the idea. What this does is it reminds you of each of the multiplications that you're going to have to do. Everything in the first bracket has to be multiplied by everything in the second bracket. Just like when you're expanding single brackets, everything on the outside has to be multiplied by everything on the inside. But here, everything in the first bracket is going to be multiplied by every term in the second bracket. And the box method just reminds you to do each step and don't miss any out. Let's do the first one. x times by x. That would be x squared. Minus 4 times by x would be minus 4x. And x times by plus 3 would be positive 3x. Finally, minus 4 times by 3, or 4 times by 3 is 12, and then with a minus it becomes minus 12. So we've times everything together without missing a single one out, and the answer to that would be not quite just x squared and the rest of it, so minus 4x plus 3x minus 12, but we need to collect like terms. The two like terms are the minus 4x and the plus 3x. And I do sometimes have students asking, what do I do about the minus and do I times them together or things like that. You simply, what I would do, just to make it clear, circle them. And what is minus 4 of something? Add 3 of that something. Or if you like to think about it in terms of money, you're 4 in debt and then someone gives you 3. What's your overall situation? You would be just 1 in debt, or minus 1. In other words, minus 4x plus 3x, you're just left with negative 1x. So the final answer would be x squared, take away x, take away 12. Let's try that again, but for a slightly harder example. Okay, now we're going to do when there's a multiple. How about, for example, if we had 2y plus 5, actually 2y minus 5, let's do a double negative, students hate that, 2y minus 5 and 3y take away 6. And we're multiplying those together. Same trick, so we're going to do 2y minus 5 and then 3y, just to the left, going down, so we can draw a nice little box, minus 6. We draw our box, it doesn't have to be neat, just so you can see it. And then this just helps us to remind us that we have to do all of the different multiplications and not miss any out. Right. 2y times y, 3y. First, let's do the numbers, 2 times 3 is 6. And y times y, y is y squared. So that's 6y squared minus 6 times by 2y. Well, minus 6 times by 2 is minus 12. And the y is on its own. So it's just minus 12y. 3y times by minus 5. Well, minus 5 times by 3 is minus 15. And the y is on its own again. So it's minus 15y. Finally, minus 6 times by minus 5. 
when two negatives are multiplied by each other, they cancel out. So minus 6 times minus 5 becomes just 6 times by 5, which is 30. And when we, when we write this, we have to remember to collect like terms. So we don't just simply leave our answers 6y squared, take away 15y, take away 12y, add 30. We need to collect together, and it's always the two middle terms actually, we need to collect together the minus 15y and the minus 12y. Just as we did before, I would recommend circling them. So we remember to include the symbol in front. It's negative 15y, negative 12y. This time we're 15 in debt because of the negative, and then we get 12 even more in debt. That minus 12 doesn't help us out. It doesn't pay down our debt. It just makes our debt even bigger. It's another minus 12 of debt. So minus 15, minus 12, you end up with minus both of them. So minus 27. So our final answer would be 6y squared, take away 27y, plus 30. And that's the super cool trick to expand multiple brackets.